What's going on everyone? ODC, it's me here, and I'm back with another action figure review. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the True Heroes AH-64D Apache Longbow Helicopter. Uh, I picked this up at uh, Toys R Us. It was actually on sale for $25.99. I had a 20% off, so I got a really good price on this. Um, I was actually originally going to pick up the... Um, I believe they call it the AC-115D, uh, but it's actually an AC-130. Um, but these are actually in perfect scale with um, your G.I. Joes. Uh, and for a, a lot of reasons to be collecting these, um, I'm going to bang the drum for them, for True Heroes, because um, they're simplistic in design and function, but they work. For what you need um especially seeing as we don't get a whole lot from hasbro as far as your gi joe vehicles um as of recently especially new vehicles um we barely get anything so um uh, it's pretty much re-releases from from hasbro so this is a really good option that everyone has uh and, and these vehicles they're che they're on the cheaper side. I mean, you can get an AC-130 that'll seat ten different uh, GI Joes for fifty bucks. You couldn't get that with Hasbro. It would be a hundred bucks, so or seventy dollars. You know what I mean? It'd be it would be at least twenty dollars more than what you what you see here. Um, I believe originally retail this was going for twenty nine ninety nine, which is probably a little bit high for some people. The twenty five ninety nine price was really great, especially with the uh, the twenty percent off discount uh, code I had. So that helped out with the price with uh, me really pulling the trigger on this and wanting the Apache um, because that's Wild Bill's thing, man. It's it's he, so he's a he's a helicopter pilot, or I mean he's a pilot nonetheless, but still, I mean you want Wild Bill. In a helicopter. Let's be honest with you. And I think he looks really good standing next to to the Apache here. Let's just see if we can get him standing up here. Oops. Oopsie. Oh, he can't hold his hat. Damn it. <laughs> but nonetheless, he's given the thumbs up. And he looks good doing it. There you go. You can see him now. <laughs> He's giving the thumbs up. He's saying, go ahead and get it. Um, like I said, there's not uh, there's not a whole lot of function to this, but it doesn't there doesn't need to be. It's like I said, it needs to be simple and and that's all you need for this because it just fits in so well. Um, even if you wanted to, I mean, you could probably use this for Cobra. Uh, if you wanted to, because I mean, it is just straight black. Um, I believe there was a different type of helicopter there as well. Um, they do have two different types of Apaches. So if you want to go that route, um, you could have one for Cobra and one for G.I. Joe. Um, this being all black here. Let me get Wild Bill out of here real quick. But uh, just taking a look at the cockpit, the cockpit ha actually has a lot of room here let me just uh really get in there so you guys can see um it has a lot of room and you can definitely fit two gi joes in there no issue there so there's no problem there and the canopy does shut nicely no issues there no issues with it uh opening up or anything like that as you can see um, by me shaking it there um, you can also fold these uh fold these up if you want to to save yourself some space so there's that option as well so there you go with that um, the uh, the propellers do spin nicely let's see if I can do this without knocking over the camera or knocking over everything let's just see oops come on come on come on and it spins just fine. Just what you need it to do. Um, the other articulation on the the helicopter is the back spindles also spin nicely, fluently. Not th they're not too loose. They do, if you need to get them to stay in a certain point, they will. No issue there at all. So it's pretty well balanced, I would say. Um, 
overall, I mean, it's it's a light it's a light vehicle too, so that's good. Um, the stickers on here they're a little bit cheap looking, yeah, I'll say that. But I got this thing for around twenty bucks. I mean, <laughs> it's not uh, it's not going to be the most uh, incredibly detailed vehicle, so. Um, but I still don't care. I, I really just don't care about that at all, to be honest with you. Um, this thing, like I said, it does what it's supposed to do. I think originally this might have been a tow hook here. Because um, this does flip forward and back. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing really there, but it looked like a tow hook originally. Um, there is a, um, a gun right here in the front that is a, uh articulated gun. I guess if you want to call it cannon, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's also two cannons on the side for your seeker missiles. You have your regular missiles right here on the side, and there's a four um, four on each side, and then you have two more missiles on the end of the wings for the Apache. And this thing looks seriously badass. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty stocked up when it comes to missiles. And uh, firepower, excuse me. Oops. Um, as far as, like I said, detail goes, I mean, everything's pretty much just a black plastic. There's not a paint on here. Uh, or a paint. There's not paint on here, I should say. Uh, and you can actually take these stickers off. If you, like, like I said, if you don't want it to say Sentinel-1, you could probably just peel that sticker off if you wanted to get rid of it. You could probably get rid of all the stickers on here if you wanted to. Um, so nothing is permanent on these. If you, I mean, you could even take all the stickers off of here, and if you have extra G.I. Joe stickers, you could apply them onto, onto this uh, Apache and have yourself a G.I. Joe Apache helicopter. And like I said, I mean, I, I don't even like saying this, but don't knock it till you try it, man. I'm just saying um, these might be not these might be, you know, to jo to uh, the purest Joe collector as knockoffs. But to me, this is a great opportunity to further establish your your vehicle collection, um, even though it's not officially saying G.I. Joe. Um, if it's in scale and it works for most collectors I, that I know. This is a great, this is a coup for us. Um, this is uh, absolutely fantastic. It does have a wheels at the bottom that also spin and also on the back portion as well that does spin. So and it's pretty well balanced. I mean, I don't have any issue with it falling over or anything like that. It just sits, it's fine. Use your imagination. Wait, I don't need lights. I don't need sounds. Just use your imagination. That's that's what I that's what I grew up doing. <laughs> Using my imagination. I don't need things to do with them for me. I can do them on my own if I need them to. Um, but like I said, this is Wild Bill's happy. I could tell. I know he's happy. He's like, Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to pay for an overpriced uh, helicopter for me. <laughs> Anytime, Wild Bill. You know, that's what I'm here for. But, okay, now I'm talking to my action figure. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. Um, and, uh, like I said, if you if you need to fit two in here, let me grab another Joe. Let's grab the first Joe I see. Grab Beachhead. We'll grab Beachhead. Why not? We'll grab Beachy. Take his uh, backpack off here. Uh, so we'll just uh, we'll throw Beachhead in here like he's transporting Beachhead to a, uh... there we are, and even with his hat on, he fits right in there. Oh, there goes the hat, of course. Eh, a little bit, touching a little bit with the, uh... oh, there we go, I'll sit him, seat him back and move his hat up. Perfect. Perfect clearance right there. As you can see, um, it sits, seats both of them in there nicely. They don't look ridiculous in here, you know. I think it looks really good. Let me just see if I can get these 
propellers out of the way while I'm doing this. Um, I think this looks really good. I mean, this is definitely a great option for any anyone on a budget when it comes to G.I. Joe. Let me get these, uh, these all fanned out again. There we go. That looks great. So, yeah, I mean... If anyone's interested, these are at your Toys R Us, your local Toys R Us, and I'm sure there's an there's an entire aisle dedicated to these, and you probably walk past them thinking, what the hell are those things? I'm not going to get those. But I'm telling you, these are quality. These are quality. They have an AC-130 um, gunship there. They have a, um, a submarine that is awesome. It looks just like it would be uh, used for Cobra. Um, and especially with the lack of Cobra vehicles that we get nowadays, it, it just seems like all we get is, um, when it comes to at least, uh, gunships or anything like that, um, or any type of, uh, uh, planes or jets or anything like that for Cobra, it seems like they get the short end of the stick and the GI Joes get everything. So, um, I don't know. I really like this. I'm probably going to pick up the gunship next. I don't know how I'm gonna shoot that review because that thing, the thing is absolutely huge. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm really happy with this. Wild Bill's happy. He's gonna drop off Beachhead. Um, I would definitely recommend getting this. This is uh, this makes me very happy. Makes me feel like a kid again. It does. It really does. But uh, stay tuned for more Joe reviews. We're gonna do some more Joe reviews. Uh, it's a Joe Rama. Seeing as uh, Joe Con just ended, uh, just shot a podcast with my good friend, uh, um, uh, the dumbass reviewer, um, and uh, Strident. So that's coming up. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, I digress. Go out and get this Apache helicopter. I mean, if if you don't have the original GI Joe Apache helicopter, then grab this one. It's a good, it's a good substitute. So with that being said. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.